wonderful. For all real values of x, the range of the function x square plus 2x plus 4 by 2x square plus 4x plus 9. x square plus 2x plus 4 is x plus 1 whole square plus 3. 2 times x square plus 2x x square plus 4x plus 9 plus 9 by 2. And or think of this as 2 times x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 7. 7 by 2, taking 1 here and keeping the 7 that side. Or I can rewrite this expression as x plus 1 whole square plus 3 by 2 times x plus 1 whole square plus 7. And x plus 1 whole square plus 3 by 2 times x plus 1 whole square plus 7. Or x plus 1 whole square plus 3 2 times x plus 1 whole square plus 3 plus 1. Sorry. Plus 2. Sorry. One second. Plus 1. And so I'm writing the same numerator, replicating it in the denominator, and then plonking a plus one outside of it. Wonderful. So x plus one whole square plus three. I'm going to call it as k. This is k by two k plus one, where k is x plus one whole square plus three. Right. So wonderful. So minimum value k can take is three. This is three by seven. If three is k is any more than three then this number will keep getting bigger and bigger k by 2 k plus 1 so by 100 by 2 into 100 plus 1 1000 by 2 into 1000 plus 1 a million by 2 into million plus 1 this one loses significance slowly and so so the, this number the, the larger its value the, the most significant point will be when k is k is the as small as possible if k becomes larger and larger the one starts to lose significance so it becomes effectively 1 by 2. If you put k as a billion, billion by 2 billion plus 1 is half, practically half. And so this number will go to half when x is k is very high. What is the smallest value it can take in k is 3, 3 by 7. Smallest it can take is 3 by 7. Largest it can take is 1 by 2. It cannot quite be 1 by 2 is the answer. Complete the square. Create the expression after completing the square. Replicate the numerator expression in the denominator as much as possible, then attack this question. So, this becomes k by 2k plus 1, where k is this equation. You can even divide this by k and say 1 by 2 plus 1 by k. Dividing this entire thing, numerator by k, denominator by k. So it effectively depends on 1 by k. If 1 by k is large, this fraction will be small. If 1 by k is small, this fraction will be large. So, the smallest value k can take is 3. Put 3 there, we will get the smallest value of the expression. Largest value it can take is infinity, or as close to infinity as possible, which can be 1 by 2. It can be 3 by 7, it cannot be 1 by 2, 3 by 7 to 1 by 2.